So I'm going to teach you how to set up your own free PBX server so you can make phone calls for free through Google Voice. What you need in terms of hardware, you're going to need an Android phone, hopefully with version 4.1 or later. You're going to need a dedicated computer with Windows 7, hopefully 64-bit, and hopefully it has you know, at least 10 gigs of, of hard drive space. Um, you're going to need a decent router, and you're going to know how to have to access that router and make changes, port changes, so you can allow incoming and outgoing traffic. Um, the reason why you would want to do this, especially if you have PBX ES right now, which is another a PBX server, it's free, um, and you're paying, for example, $30 a month with T-Mobile, and you're trying to um, make free phone calls using Google Voice, well, um, you're going to uh, get better results by running your own server. P uh, free PBX, well, PBX ES offers a free account for anybody right here, but there's some limits. You only have 2,000 minutes per month. I mean, you're probably not going to go over that anyway. But one of the big problems is that timeout for outgoing calls, 60 minutes. That means if you're on the phone with somebody for 60 minutes, it's just going to cut you off. And that's crappy. Um, it only allows a limited amount of codecs, which is audio quality. Uh, you don't have access to the HD voice right here, like G722. Um, running your own server will allow you to have all these codecs, whatever you want, because it's yours. You'll have more flexibility. Um, you'll have higher quality sound. You'll have better battery life on your phone um, because you're not constantly having to ping the, the server to, to make sure your phone's still alive. Um, you're going to have a lot more options. Um, you, the, the, there's a couple things, though, that you're going to miss. You're, gonna, you're not going to get SMS messages. Uh, you're not going to be able to use the, the, your built-in Android uh, text message app. You're going to have to use Google Voice app to make text messages with people. You know, I'm fine with that. I, who gives a crap about SMS uh, as far as I'm concerned? So um, if you don't have a Google Voice account already, go sign up for one. I would recommend that you port your num phone number over like I did. You don't have to, but I would recommend it. Um, the nice thing about this setup is that you don't even need to have a carrier to make phone calls. Once you get this set up, you'll be able to make uh, Wi-Fi calls free without um, any kind of carrier, any Wi-Fi connection. You'll be able to make phone calls. Uh, I'll, I'll gonna, I'm going to start by showing you how to set up Google Voice. Um, if you follow the instructions exactly, uh, it's going to be up and running fantastically for you. Nobody's ever made a tutorial about this. All the information on the internet is out there, but it's so spread and it's so difficult to find the best information. It took me a long time. So I'm going to try to condense it down into you know a series of videos um, showing you sequentially how to uh, get it up and running. So we're going to first start with Google Voice itself. I just want to quickly add at the end of this video here, this is kind of what a lot of people's setup looks like right now. From their phone, using software, they're going through PBX, which is go then going through Google Talk to make phone calls. That's called a trunk. Now, you can have multiple trunks on PBX, ES, or your own server. Now, what's going to happen is that instead of the Sony Ericsson, you're going to have your own Android device. Hopefully, like I said, it's powerful enough to handle this. It, it may require a, a bit of CPU power to do it. We're not going to use SIPDroid. SIPDroid sucks. We're going to use CSIP Simple, which is better. Um, the phone itself is called an extension. So when you deal with PBX and you deal with your own server, when you see the word extension, that's going to be your actual physical phone, whether it's a cell phone or a VOPI, VOIP phone in your house. That's going to be an extension. And um, we'll get that all that set up. I don't know about on this left side, this free switch and everything like that, but in place of where PBX is here, that's where your server is going to be. That's what, instead of PBX, it's going to be your own server right there. So this is just kind of a little diagram showing you kind of what it, lo what it looks like and how it kind of works. Um, if you want the details, there are a bunch of other websites and books and stuff like that out there if you really want to earn a PhD in uh, PBX, but I don't, so I'm, I'm just a layman. I just want this stuff to work well. I want to be able to make good phone calls and have it reliable. And I was having trouble when I had PBX. I was actually, it was deregistering from the network and I wasn't able to get phone calls. I was missing phone calls and that's the most important thing about having a phone. This method that I'm going to show you that I'm going through right now is going to um, increase your reliability and, and you're not going to miss phone calls. And that's the nice thing about it. Because I, I have in mind, you know, people go walk in garages. You don't always have a solid internet connection. And, and for whatever reason, PBX doesn't like that very much. If you start to have a slow connection or you disconnect, it, it'll prevent you from receiving phone calls. So let's go.